Hey, what is up everyone? Tyler Ramsby here again, back with another video. And in this video, I wanna tell you how you can begin hacking today without going to prison. Now, the problem with learning how to hack is it's illegal most of the time. Matter of fact, when I was in high school, I was always fascinated by the concept of hacking and cybersecurity. And what ended up happening to me and a friend is we got banned from touching a computer in high school, right? So we would learn techniques, we'd go to school, we'd try them, and we got caught. And for an entire year, we could not touch a computer. And I cannot tell you how hard it is when all your class goes to the computer lab to make a PowerPoint and you got to make your PowerPoint on a poster board. Now, thankfully, I was under 18. So seriously, if you want to learn hacking, you need to do it the safe way and the legal way and hands on. And that's the problem with a lot of education around hacking is they talk a lot of theory, which theory is good. You need to understand the theory of networking. You need to understand ports. You need to understand these things, but it only begins to make sense when you actually do it. When you actually hack another computer, when you hack a web server, when you give yourself root or admin access, that is how you're going to learn. And in this video, I want to walk you through how to do that specifically on a website called try hack me. So what I want to do right now is let me go ahead and share my screen and i want to share with you guys a few different resources i will include these links in the description of the video as well and i want to show you exactly how i have my machine set up and how i've really learned a lot of the hands-on hacking i talk about in my videos and in many ways how i get got both my it jobs that i've had so far so what i use is what's called oracle vm virtualbox now this runs a virtual machine on your computer. If that is new to you, it's just a computer inside of your computer. So it's kind of like Inception. So Oracle VM VirtualBox is what I use to run Kali Linux. And this is what it looks like. Now there's times where you can actually load other computers on here. So I'll have like a vulnerable web server here and I'll use my Kali Linux machine. I create my own network and I attack it. It's like a little bit of a hacking lab. But what I use most of the time is I just have Kali Linux loaded on here. This is what manages all my virtual machines. So virtualbox.org, you go to downloads and follow the instructions for whatever OS you have. Um, it walks you through it if you get confused there are videos but you'll notice i just downloaded windows host it downloads a .exe i'm going to cancel because i already have it then it runs it and it installs it on your computer but you still need kali linux so from kali.org themselves they have kali inside virtualbox as a guest vm and they literally walk you through the process of downloading the image for it, setting up your virtual machine. My only advice that I would offer you is if your computer allows it, you'll notice for memory size, it allows you to do it that. I would pop that beast up to um, like eight gigs of memory would be what I would recommend as a minimum. If you have like 32 gigs in your computer, pop that beast up to 16 gigs. The more memory you have, the better, but this will walk you through the process. It is way easier than you think. And then you will be running Kali Linux on your computer. The next step, and I'm open incognito to show you what this looks like if this is new to you, is you need to go to tryhackme.com, hit join now, and create your account. Now, a lot of the resources on Try Hack Me, especially as you get started out, are completely free. You don't have to pay anything. I have a subscription account. I think it's like $10 a month. And if you're a student, you get a discount. It is well worth it with the different things you get with your subscription account. So sign up, get your account active for Try Hack Me, and get logged in. When you log in to Try Hack Me, here is what the page is going to look like. Yours will probably look a little bit different just because I'm on Try Hack Me pretty often. Um, but you have Learn. And I wanted to show you guys all the cool things Try Hack Me can do for you. So you have different learning paths. So junior penetration tester, pre security. So if you're new, this is where I would start. It walks through cybersecurity basics, all that good stuff. Cyber defense, that's the blue team side of things. Pen test plus, um, I actually have that certification is to be certified as a pen tester through CompTIA. I will do a video on how to earn that certification in 30 days, um, but you can walk through that. You get 10% off, offensive pen testing, complete beginner, web fundamentals, a bunch of good stuff. Now I'll show you kind of a snapshot of what this looks like. If I open up pre-security, I don't think I ever really did pre-security. Yeah, I I went to school for this stuff, so that was my, my pre-security. Um, but each one of these, so if I click on what is networking, 
It is going to give me networking basics. It's going to give me questions to ask. Some of these will have virtual machines that you launch that you can actually connect to and attack. But it does really an excellent job of teaching you. But the question people run into is how do you access the network? So a lot of these machines, when you launch them, they give you an IP address. And I'll just give you an example of these. Let me go to, we'll go to learn and we'll go to practice. Uh, let me just go show all series. We'll just, uh, I don't want to do easy. Let me go to starters. I think I've already done a few of these boxes. Yeah. So I've already done some of these boxes, but I want to show you guys just how this works. So we'll do, um, we can do Mr. Oh, this is a fun box, Tom ghost. So if I'm opening this box, this is a box that you just hack. I don't want to show you guys the flags. I already completed this box, but let me just start this machine. And each one of these machines takes a few minutes to start. You'll notice it takes exactly one minute. As it's starting the machine, I wanna show you how OpenVPN works because that is the way that you connect to the actual network. So how do I connect this machine, this is my Kali Linux machine, to the Try Hack Me network? Well, the way you do that is if you click your profile up here, click Access, it says Download My Configuration File. All right, now you wanna do this from within your Kali Linux machine, from within your virtual machine. So actually right here, I would download it here and I would download my file and where it would probably go is my download folder. So if I go to C, whoops, CD downloads, now I'm gonna have, oh, I don't have a bunch of stuff. I must have cleaned this out recently. So here's my, that's my user account on Try Hack Me. Feel free to add me if you want. .ovpn is open VPN. So this is the file that you will download. It'll be your username and you'll download it to your downloads folder in Kali Linux. You wanna make sure you log in as root. If you try to do this as a low level user, it's not gonna work, but I wanna show you how easy it is to connect to the Try Hack Me network. I'm just gonna type open VPN and then the name of that file and watch this. And guess what? We are now on the Try Hack Me network. Um, one of the first things you'll want to do is figure out what your IP is on the network. I'll show you it. So I am on the Try Hack Me network through OpenVPN. This is my IT 10.13.10.98. So if I do any reverse shells like that, that I need to communicate back to my machine, that's going to be my IP address. Let me jump back to Tom Ghost. So you can see here is the IP of this machine on the Try Hack Me network. And let's just see if we can ping it. So we'll go ping. And we can. So from there, I can attack this machine. I'm pretty sure it has a web interface. So I'll just show you kind of what this looks like. Oh, maybe it doesn't have a web interface. Maybe it's like port, it's probably some weird port. I don't feel like scanning it right now. But suffice it to say, we have access to the Try Hack Me network. And from here, we can do these machines. We can hack real web servers. Some of them walk you through it without going to jail, which I think is an important thing to do. So if you wanna learn hacking today, download Oracle VirtualBox, it is free. Download Kali Linux for Oracle VirtualBox, it is free. Create an account on Try Hack Me, it is free. There's an optional subscription, which I would encourage. I think it is well worth the money. And you can begin hacking today. You can learn the same tools that professionals use to break into web servers so that maybe you want a job in cybersecurity. And when you go to that interview, you can say, I've done these things hands on. Like, you know how to hack, you know how to configure things, you know how to prevent hacks, all hands on through Try Hack Me, through an open VPN, and it's gonna put you head and tails above other people who are applying for that same cybersecurity position. So start hacking today on Try Hack Me. And hey, if I can help you, if you run into any issues, shoot me a message. I would love to help you in any way that I can. Otherwise, happy hacking.